Meseches Nazir Daf Chav Ches contains two Mishnais. From the beginning of the Daf until the first Mishnah, the Gemara brings a proof uh, against a halacha which we've seen earlier. The Gemara is going to bring a lengthy b'risa, show how it conflicts with that halacha, and then resolve it. Then we get to our first Mishnah, which talks about when a man can be made for his wife's neder. What stage of her bringing korbanos could he still be made for it? What stage is there still a neder that bothers him left to be made for? And then the second Mishnah will discuss the halachas of the Naziris of a child. So let's begin. The Gemara brings a lengthy b'risa, and the Gemara is going to have a kasha based on this b'risa. So the b'risa discusses five halachas, five drashos, that are learned about when a person has set aside a carbon chatas, can he use it for something else? So three are from the word karbonai. The word karbonai appears three times in the parsha describing the carbon chatas. The shah can only use his own carbon and not someone else's. Then there are two joshes from the word karbonai al chatasoi. It has to be for a specific avera that he did and not for a different avera that he did. So the first karbonai, the Gemara says, is to show, the Brysa says, is to show that you cannot bring a carbon chatas that his father set aside for an avera. Uh, he, the son can't bring that for his avera. Now, the first karbonai is referring to when there are different level chiyuve chatas. Some chatas come for an avera that, had it been bemazed, would receive kores, like eating chalev or blood. And some are for an avera that would have received misas based in, like chil uh, shabbos or vaydezara. He, he would have received skila for that had it been bemazed. So that is called a chatas uh, chamura, as opposed to the other one, which is chatas kala. So the simplest, the lowest level chitish, which is what we learned from the first karbanai, is that if his father had one level avera, one level chiv chatas, and he has a different level, he can't use that. He can't use his father's carbon if he never brings it because he himself has a different level that's learned out of carbonite. Now, the second carbonite is to teach even if they're the same level, both Kala or both Hamura. Still can't use his father's because it has to be carbonite, has to be his own. And the third carbonite is if his father just set aside money, not for any particular, he didn't set aside an animal, just money that he cannot use that for his own avir. Now, why would I think that money is different? So the Gemara says, the reason you would think money is different is because at the end of Nezirus, a person could use money that his father set aside for his the end of his Nezirus. So a person could, the son could use it for his own Nezirus if the father never ends up using it. As long as the money was set aside stumin and not mefarashin, as long as it was not specified which money is going for which carbon, the chatas, the shlamim, and the oila, the son is able to use it. Now, the Barca points out it's only if it's stupid, if it's more forish, if he did specify which money is for which, the son cannot use it. But since the son could use money that his father had set aside by Nazirus, so you may think money is easier for a son to use his father's. And therefore, even for carbon chatas, for an avera, the son should be able to use money that his father set aside. So the third carbon is teach me you're not allowed to do that. And the Gemara's proof will be from this line about the stumen and Mepharashan, but let's finish the Brysa first. So the Brysa now has two halachas from the words karbonai al chatasai. One is that if he, person himself, had set aside karbonais, animals, for one avera, he cannot use it for a different avera. And that's true even if they're different levels, or they're same level. Kala chamura, kala, kala chamur, chamura. He can't use it, and that's because it says carbon al chatasai. It has to be for that specific area, not for a different one. Now, how do you know that you can't use money? So that's because the second time it says carbon al chatasai. If you set aside money for one, you can't use it for uh, a different carbon. Now, why does money need an extra limud? Why would I think that that's different? So, Mars says because if you use animals, beshege, that you set aside for one carbon for a different carbon, so if he did it by mistake, so there's no mi'ila, he doesn't violate mi'ila because it does not get the kedusha of the second carbon. And he also doesn't get kapara for the second avera because it still stays set for the first avera. It didn't change. Money, though, there is mi'ila. He sets aside money for one carbon. He accidentally uses it for a different carbon. It does change to the second carbon. And he is he he is mo'il, he violates mi'ila, and he does get kapara for the second one, but it's only b'shege. However, Lechili are not allowed to do something like that. 
So you would think that you could, because it works b'shaygeg, that's why it says achat osay. Now, so Gemara's proof is as follows. So we saw here that the Brysa pointed out that he could only use uh, his father's carbonos money. He can't use his father's carbonos animals. So you see, he can't use carbonos that are set aside for, you cannot use animals that are set aside for a carbon chatos for something else. Now we had seen in Allah earlier that there's an opinion that said that you could use them if they were Bali Mumin. So Mara wants to say the Bryce here is Pasha's talking about Bali Mumin. If it's only talking about when they're not Bali Mumin, so why did it have to have this the third the third Lim would say money is different? Why didn't it say animals are different if they are Bali Mumin? Instead of separating between money between animals which are not Bali Mumin and money, you separate between animals which are not Bali Mumin and animals which are Bali Mumin, a much more closer thing, much more bigger chiddush. So the answer is no, it's talking about animals which are not Bali Mumin. And it could, and when it says that you, the third Limud is referring to animals which are Bali Mumin. I had said money. Animals which are Bali Mumin are considered to be money. You can't do anything else with them. All they have is value. And therefore we do refer to them as money. And that's what the Gemara meant when it was referring to that halacha. Okay, now the, we begin the next Mishnah. This Mishnah discusses when a woman is taking a vow of Naziris, and her husband didn't find out about it until the last day, and now he wants to be made for it. She was already ending the Naziris. So what stage of the ending process is there still a Naziris left for him to be made for? Allah is, a husband can only be made for his wife's nether if it either bothers him or it's depriving her, something that affects him, or is depriving to her. So you have to have something left. You have to have either an iser on her, an iser to drink wine or something, or that something's going to happen to her which bothers him, has an effect on him. So when the Naziris ends, there is uh, there are kabonis to bring. First of all, Naziris can end either betoma or betahara. And then there are kabonis to bring, a chatas, a and an ayla. And afterwards, and there's also a haircut, and uh, the hair all has, all has to be shaved off. And afterwards, at some point, she can start to drink wine again and do all the things that she could do. So now, if she can't drink wine, that's still called a deprivation, so he could be Mayfair. If she could take a haircut, that might also be something which affects him. So what are the stages? So let's see the opinions in the Mishnah, and then we'll see how the Gemara explains what they argue over. So the first opinion is, if... One of the kabbanos was already brought and shechted, and uh, the blood of that carbon was already sprinkled. At that point, it's too late to be mayfair because once the blood was already sprinkled on the mizbeach, there's no iser left. There's she's already muttered to drink wine. The will say, therefore, there's no iser left to stop, so the husband can't be mayfair anymore. Now, Rabbi Akiva says, even if no blood was sprinkled, but an animal was already shechted, it's already too late. So again, the first opinion says it's too late after blood was sprinkled. Rabbi Akiva says it's too late after a shechita actually happened. The Gemara's third opinion is Rabbi Meir, and we're skipping here a bit because Rabbi Meir is all the way at the end. And there's a question if the gears here is Rabbi or Rabbi Mayor, but we'll go with the gears that we have here. Rabbi Mayor, Rabbi Mayor says um, the Baal could be Mayfair even after the Zerika Saddam, even after the Shechita, after the Zerika Saddam, he could still be Mayfair because it's not about when she still has an issue to drink wine. He can say, I don't want a wife with a shaved head, and if I not Mayfair this, she's still going to shave her head. She's going to continue with the procedure, which includes head shaving, and therefore I don't want it, and I'm made for that. And Aziris, this whole thing is canceled, and no head shaving has to come. Now, the middle of the Mishnah said as follows. This is all talking about if the Naziris was finished, bitahar. What if the Naziris was finished, bitumo? So what happens then? So the Mishnah says, there he could be made for at any stage of the Kabbanas that's being brought because he could say she still has to continue with Nazir. She's still going to have to continue it after the tum is over. And I don't want her to be blocked from drinking wine. That's something that is depriving to her and therefore he could still be Mayfair at that instance. All right, now the Gemara begins. The Gemara wants to know what is the Machlekes here? What are the two opinions? And who are we holding like? 
So the Gemara explains all opinions in the Mishnah are going not like Rabbi Eliezer. So Rabbi Eliezer holds that the Isser to drink wine extends even after the Zirka Saddam. Until she takes the haircut, the Isser to drink wine continues. So he would say that the husband could still be made for until the haircut. And therefore, none of these opinions are going like him. So what then is these two opinions holding? So he says they're both holding that once the Zirka Saddam happens, and that is when she becomes permitted to drink wine. So the Tanakam holds until the Zerika Saddam, there's still an Isser drinking wine. He's telling us something to be made for. And Bekiva says this is a different problem. Once the Shechita happens, if you let him be made for it, that animal is going to go in the garbage. And you're going to end up taking a carbon that was shechted properly. It's kachim. And it's going to get thrown in the garbage because there's no longer a need for it. You can't have a situation where you shechted a carbon and you throw it out. It's hefzid kachim. So Mar says we have a kasha. This Rabbi Zera asks a kasha. It's not true. Because you could still eat it. Because an animal that was shechted, for the wrong reason, you're allowed to go ahead and do zirikas hadam and eat it. So why should he have to throw it out? And this animal is not worse than animals that was shechted shechted for a reason which no longer exists. All right, so it's for the wrong reason. So now use it for something else, and then do zirikas hadam and eat it. And Rabbi Zer proves that that's the lacha. He brings a brisa that says that the sheep, the kivsei, that go with the shvuis carbonus of the shtei lachem, was called kivsei atzeres. If the shechted shalei l'shma, or before the time, or after the time, you could still do Zriga Saddam and eat the meat. Now, if it's Shabbos, you can't, because Shabbos, you have other issues. And if you threw the dam b'isr, it works to do haktar seimur. At night, you're allowed to put the rest of the parts on the mizbeach. That's all the details of the b'risa there. But clearly, you see from here, that if the shechita was done shalei l'shma, you could still do zrika saddam and eat it. So why can't we still hear, continue and do zrika saddam and eat it? So my answer is simple. You brought a proof about a carbon shlamim. That's true for carbon shlamim. Here we're talking about where the carbon that was brought already was the chatas. Chatas is puzzle is going to go in the garbage once you did the shechita and you end up not needing it anymore. So therefore, and uh, we bring a price that proves that. We bring a mishnah from the memheg. That says that if uh, there was any of the three brought, even the chatas, then it's yaitza. If that was the one that was brought first, even if the haircut was taken after that. So that's what we're talking about here, and therefore it doesn't help. There's nothing you could do, and that's why Rabbi Kiva says it's half studied carbonus. And now the Gemara asks on the Mishnah, what's the what's what's taka the Machlekes about the haircut. We saw Rabbi Meir said at the end he could be made for because he doesn't want his wife to have a haircut. So what does Tanakam hold? Meir says Tanakam holds it's a big deal. He doesn't have a right to say he's made for because of a her- haircut. She could always wear a wig. So Meir says, what does Rabbi Meir hold? Rabbi Meir says he could say, I'm grossed out by a wig. I don't want her having somebody else's hair on her head. And therefore, a wig is not a solution. Now we begin the second Mishnah, which we saw quoted earlier on Daphne Dalid, nearly in full. The Mishnah talks about where someone wants to make his son a Nazir. So the Mishnah says a man can make his son a Nazir. A woman cannot make her son a Nazir. So if a father makes his son a Nazir, all the in his ears are calling him unless he or other relatives protest. So if he takes himself a haircut or others cut his hair or he makes a macha or others make a macha for him, then his ears that the father made is bottle. Now, what happens if the father had already separated Korbanas? And now the Nazir says, cancelled, what should you do? So these are the lachs that we saw earlier. If he set aside all three animals, the chatas no longer is a chatas that is hectish and can no longer be brought, so it has to be destroyed, it has to be left to die. The ayla could be brought as an optional, as a volunteer in the dava. The shlamin could be brought as a volunteer in the dava. And the shlamin will have some of the din of Naziris. It's eaten for one day instead of two days, like a carbon and nazir, and not like a regular carbon shlamim. But it doesn't need the breads that go with a regular carbon and naziris. Now, if you set aside money, so now it depends if it's stumen or mifurashin. Like we saw earlier, if it's stumen, just a pile of money without specifying which is for the shlamim, chatas, and ayla. So it all goes for a voluntary optional ayla, or shlamim. If, however, it's specified, Chata's money has to be thrown in the Yama Melech, and the others can be brought for their regular karbanas. Now, the Chata's money is not hektish, but there is an Isra Hanah. 
So if somebody uses it, there's no me'ilo, but there's an iser hanoi, he's not allowed to have enough from it. The ayla money and the shlame money, there, there is me'ilo, uh, because it is hectic and it's going to be brought for kabonis.